How did I become involved in poker? Well, how does anybody become involved in poker? I mean, you, one day you're there and somebody says, do you want to play a game of poker? And you say, okay. And, and the worst thing that can happen to you is you win the first time around and you assume you know everything about it. I think uh, the first time I got, I used to play 25 with my grandparents and uh, my father and uncles and all that. And then they started playing penny poker. I think I was about 11. And uh, the first time I played, I worked out uh, the secret to the whole game. And that's that if you bet a penny on the river, you're going to get called, like no matter what they have. But if you shove in sixpence, which is about three quarters of me pocket money at the time, they give you credit for having a good hand. It took me years to get over that. <laughs> uh, well, my biggest poker win was, uh, was, was actually a loss, so I don't know if it counts. Um, well, I finished third in the World Series in 1999, which some would consider a fluke, and um, <laughs> I wouldn't. My, my form since then has shown it probably was. Um, well, my favourite place to play poker is Binion's, obviously, because uh, that's, where, that's where you get the real buzz playing poker. I mean, you can forget about all these new venues and flashy hotels and... and uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't go for piss in the Rio unless they, if they were running the World Championship. <laughs> Apart from that, um, second choice would be, like, anywhere in Ireland. Because, I mean, like, I'm not biased just because I'm Irish, but... Um, so the, the crack playing poker in Ireland is different class to just about anywhere else. Which doesn't say a lot for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally in the bar for the first time of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, so I, I get jacks under the gun, I have absolutely no idea what happens. <laughs> do, you, do you want to start again and put me at level? <laughs> You're at level two. You've just arrived at the table. You've got absolutely no idea what's going on, and furthermore, you don't care. <laughs> you got Jacks under the gun, and you're still hoping that girl brings over the brings over the table so you can put your pint down. So you just limp. <laughs> the best player in Ireland, Fit and Gavin, obviously. I mean, uh, he's won more money than anybody in one day, which is one of the, and the reason he won all the, mo the, the more money than anybody else was because nobody wanted a piece of him. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think Pint Fitton got like nine hundred and thirty thousand in Barcelona. Um, and he got 100% of it for himself. I mean, he phoned me a few days before he went over, and I know he was angling to see if I'd take a piece. <laughs> I'd rather throw the money to some of the homeless guy in the street. He might put it to some use. So, uh, Fintan says he's the best in Ireland. He's, he's, he's had the biggest score because he got, he got, definitely got the most take-home money. Some people may have won more money, but, uh, you know, the people have shares in him and all of this, but because Fintan is so bad, he got everything, so he must be the best. <laughs> Uh, I refer you to the previous question. <laughs> Everybody can't be wrong. <laughs> Am I allowed one pass? <laughs> I think um, they say poker and beer don't go very well together, but Marty Smith seems to prove the opposite. Um, I'd have to say beer, I suppose. <laughs> but beer doesn't pay the, doesn't pay the bills. Uh, I haven't had that one yet. 